New figures have revealed big increases in children and the elderly living rough on Perth streets. Seven News spoke with one grandmother who was evicted and left homeless after she fled domestic violence. Jessica Page has this exclusive report. Clarice hasn't had a home to call her own for two years. Tonight, she's one of more than a 1,000 people homeless, including 29 children and 142 people over 55. I've never been in this situation till now. But it could be worse. The grandmother's able to stay in a relative's spare room for now, breaching his lease. Just um, dodging the bullet, I guess, sometimes. 561 people don't have that luxury. That's how many people data collectors found sleeping rough in May, a new record high, up almost 15% in one month. We know that the housing market is very tight. Social housing can't keep up and tenants evicted from that lifeline have nowhere to go. Figures requested by Greens MP Brad Pettit in Parliament reveal evictions remain lower than pre-COVID, but he says too many are being being forced out for no good reason. Out of 256 terminations, few were due to illegal use, 15% disruptive behaviour, 37% arrears. The rest, like Claris, no official grounds. I think we have a system that that's broken and um, people are, are being punished for being poor. But the minister says the big increase is no surprise and is at least partly the result of a deliberate increased effort to locate rough sleepers and find them help. Our Heart Homeless team, which has been boosted, has since its inception uh, referred 229 people to accommodation. Less than the number evicted, leaving more forced to make do or beg for shelter from the rain. Jessica Page, 7 News.